So there I was, casually minding my own beeswax when BOOM! Square Enix drops on that they're bringing out a new expansion to Final Fantasy XIV, their very, very good MMORPG. Hey guys, what's up? Thank you for joining me on this merry Monday. I hope everybody is well. And before I go on, if you would like to be in to win the Nintendo Switch Lite when I hit a thousand subscribers, all you need to do is just smack that subscribe button, leave a like and a comment, and uh, that's that, that's that. And then going forward from there, I will be doing a lot more giveaways. But anyway, now that that bollocks is out of the way, let's get stuck in. Why do I think Final Fantasy XIV is the best MMO out there and it's, it's, it's a lot of bias. I am a massive Final Fantasy fan, I've mentioned it before on my channel, Final Fantasy 7, the original one, is one of my favourite games of all time up there with The Witcher 3 and Breath of the Wild and from the minute I started playing Final Fantasy 14 it was the only MMO RPG that kept me playing for a long long time. Now, I am in no way a pro at the game, I am in no way, um, I'm in no position to ever lecture anybody who is a veteran on the ins and outs and inner workings of Final Fantasy XIV, as there is still so much left for me to learn. However, in the nearly whew, 150 hours I've put into the game, uh, I can only surmise that it's the best in my opinion, and of course that's all this is, it's just my opinion, so if you have a different one that's absolutely awesome, and please pop it in the comments down below for me to see and everyone else. A difference of opinion is what makes us human at the end of the day. Well that, and with me a lot of Reese's Pieces, but you know, that's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a different addiction for a different time. Um, Final Fantasy XIV is a game that especially last year I got so heavily into that I had to tear myself away. And then of course with Endwalker being announced I was like, oh fine, massive sigh, and then in store, why not? But uh, Final Fantasy XIV not only has really cool graphics, uh, it plays incredibly well, especially on basic bitch PS4, which is, why I, which is what I play it on, uh, it also has a amazing music including familiar music from all different parts of the Final Fantasy franchise like the Chocobo theme song, the prelude music, it also has Biggs and Wedge in it, it also has Sid with an airship, I mean come on they're Final Fantasy staples. The jobs are really really cool, I'm rocking the samurai at the minute, I'm absolutely loving it, but besides the samurai there's obviously the warrior, there's the mages, there's the red mage, there's the Dragoon, there's the Dark Knight, there's just, there's so many different ways you can play the game and so many different jobs that you can take on. Uh, you, you can wield guns, you can wield bows, you can wield spears, swords, uh, obviously the katana which is what I'm rocking here. There's the fate which my character's just joined, where, which you can just take part in these uh, loads of little randomised open world events. The, all the dungeons, are in, for me personally, are so fun to go through. Nine times out of ten, the people who you go through a dungeon with are very polite and very forthcoming with advice, help and hints. Um, the raids can be super difficult and are absolutely awesome to partake in. The loot is really, really cool and obviously that's the, the end game really isn't it, it's just uh, the grinding for the better stuff, um, yeah just uh, every, the story as well is pretty cool, I will admit in the base game of Final Fantasy XIV which of course you have to get through that story to rock on towards Heaven's War, um, Stormblood etc, um, it, it's, there is a lot of fetch quests, I think that's pretty much a given with MMORPGs, I don't think there is much deviation from the norm there, but there is some pretty cool story beats with some awesome cutscenes, great interactions, the, the writing from the most part is pretty cool, and apart from obviously the main story quests, you've also got absolutely bucket loads of side quests, loads of key quests that can be used to unlock different dungeons and different events and different just a whole array of different awesome content for you to partake in. There's fishing, there's tree cutting down, there's herbology, there's mining, there's just, there's crafting, there's just so much that you can do in this MMO and I just thought well as I'm getting back into it and I wanted to take some time to talk about it as I will be uploading more Final Fantasy 14 videos going forward um, I just wanted to give out there and say that why I think it's the best and I'm not saying it's the best because it's better than WoW or better than Black Desert. I have a WoW account, I've played a hell of a lot of WoW and 
I do like it. I don't love it as much. I mean, again, like I said, it's probably biased because I'm a Final Fantasy fan, but uh, just there's just something about 14 which keeps bringing me back, and I think it's the combination of the amazing graphics, the uh, the awesome um, storylines that are within it, the great music, the characters, the different jobs, all the mounts, all the you know just just everything combined. There's so much to do in this game, and it's. It's just well worth your time. If you're looking for an MMO to get into, this is definitely one that you should check out. There is a free trial, so you can give it a whirl without having to spend any dollar. And yeah, although I know it is a subscription game, so obviously after you've paid the um, the, the main price for the just for the game itself, you do have to pay a monthly subscription. But I assure you, it's worth every penny and of course you can always just cancel that subscription if you decide not to continue playing but anyway guys that's just me uh, just giving a quick ramble on Final Fantasy 14 uh, please let me know down in the comments what you think about it if you like it if you dislike it if you've given it a go if you want to give it a go and or please let me know what your favorite MMORPG is and which one you think is the best but as always guys thank you very much for watching and until next time